out of this. Even though it was, uh, even though we had a limited OT on map number one, it wasn't the fastest. There you go, joystick. Oh, okay. How does he do it? Kanto Raketi and Goga fall. This is a huge breath of fresh air for Empire. Empire's timing much better in this round so far, but it's going to get a little bit worse as Scyther gets picked off by Pengu. It's a good job to Pengu to bring it back somewhat, though not entirely. Joystick got that kill on his very final bullet. It's a little bit of good luck and good aim on his side of things. There's another for Joystick, trying his best to outdo Kanto Ricchetti in the previous round. Additionally, one of the first kills for Team Empire came onto the Hard Breacher. How about a fourth? Takes down Fabian, all right, oh! oh! And an ace! What the hell, Joystick? The man, the madness, all five kills! And he answers beautifully onto G2's first round. Rainbow Six Siege is getting a battle pass. In year four, the battle pass will be deployed in two phases. Phase one is the mini battle pass, named Call Me Harry. It'll be short, seven days and seven tiers, and completely free. As you play, you earn battle points that unlock tiers and rewards. So the more you play, the more you earn. Upon completing the pass, you'll receive the unique Harry Chibi Charm. Call Me Harry will be available during Operation Ember Rise. Phase 2 is coming in Season 4 this year. It'll be a full-fledged battle pass. Here's how it'll work. There will be two tracks, a free track and an optional premium track. You progress through both tracks by playing and earning battle points. Even if you choose not to unlock the premium track, you'll still be able to collect rewards on the free track. So while the battle pass is active, everyone gets more rewards for playing. Finally, through the battle pass, you will get to learn more about Harry and the operators of Rainbow Six. In the roster, you got Coconut Bra, Flanked, Cross Archon, Godly, and Saw Siege. What's up, brother? What's up? How you doing, Archon? So, uh, now, Cross, obviously, we have some choice words yeah. from Roy earlier. He said he was looking to clap some cheeks. And I want to get your thoughts on the very colorful language of your opponent. I want to be a little bit respectful. We'll see who claps whom. Uh, we have a secret weapon in our team, Sausage. I like that. I like that. This is going to be very exciting stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys can do. To go ahead, take your seats at the stage. They're going to be our first two teams that take the stage and compete here. Cross, we indeed love seeing it. Oh, no. I love how he's wearing the Chanka. Oh, Dude, my immersion right now, all-time high. Oh! oh! He flipped the oh helmet. Oh, my God! Let's hear it. Oh, oh, oh! Please, please, just one. Take the door. Just one. Do it. Do it. No. All right. No. The turret falls again. can actually sneak up on pretty um, people quite easily, but Angle's being held by Coconut Bra. He's laying on top of the diffuser. Coconut Bra is henning this diffuser right now. So amazing. Roosting, henning, yeah. roosting, yes, yeah. no? Warm, keeping it warm. I should know this, I'm from Iowa. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Macy, getting ready to make a play here, trying to flash yeah, out Coconut Bra, what? Hello? Oh. Oh. What? What happened? Macy! <laughs> Didn't even see him! We're aware. 
Karzeka let two G2 players skate by as well. So obviously there's an intended strategy here for him to hide deeper inside a site. And now it looks like he's on cams. He'll get off for the time being. Shepard vulnerable inside of ventilation. The UMP is not a gun you want taking multiple fights, but he's going to get a kill with it anyway as Karzek is gone. It's a 1v1 as Goga is down. Kanto has four seconds left, and Shepard will do it with the pistol. The sidearm is good enough. He might get a good angle, but no, Shepard's aware, and he repositions. Pengu now actually in a good position to clutch, all things considered. He has 30 seconds, and he can go for an attempted plan. Shepard's slow on the retake. He finally goes for the push, but it's too late. Post plant now. Things are looking better for Pengu. Karzeka and Shepard need to meet up or play the crossfire. C4 used to open up a castle barricade by the front door. That'll give more angles to Shepard, and Pengu's well aware, but he comes off at the perfect moment, allowing Shepard to get the better angle as he peeks towards front door. Pengu's still alive, though, and we're near half the diffuser duration. Karzeka going for the long angle peak, but he doesn't know where his enemy is, and he's just spraying into the wind. Shepard goes for a rush, eats a lot of damage, but doesn't lose the fight just yet. Pengu alive, but he only gets one. Can he get the second? He's so close, he runs back. The diffuser's low on time. Karzeka's gotta go, but Pengu! An insane clutch! The plant and the perfect post-plant positioning, and G2 won't be able to hit the site, which is really important. Drone him again for good measure as Dan was detected by the EOD. He's got some covering fire from Joystick on White Stairs, and you know how good Joystick plays in that spot, especially with the Carbine in hand. But I don't think they are aware that Joystick's there. Fabian wins the fight, oh. goes for two, he ties them both together. He'll trudge on forward looking for more, and he finds a third. Who else is in his line of sight? It's Karzeka, but Kanto will sweep up. And G2 puts the ball, is rolling down the hill, and who from Empire can stop the momentum? Well, it's Scyther. He pops up, he's completely detected, and Gogo is removed from action. Your hard breacher is down. Scyther right now, oh, what a C4 that is! And a double kill once again, Scyther so good. Shepard will get his own downing Uno, and it's all Pengu. It's what? the third for Scyther. This is outlandish! Scyther, my man, four kills! Empire, but they've only got 42 seconds to make it happen. And gonna open up that front door. Joystick going with the lifelines into the freezer. The gas canisters are stalling them out. Dan has to do a better job of pressuring the smoke, but it's actually gonna be Scyther to get the nade onto that smoke, freeing things up for Empire. But there's only 28 seconds. That's not a lot to work with. Pushed by the main bar. Joystick will not see anybody as the fallback has already been called from G2. One at coach check, but he's down. A beautiful shot from Dan. And Scyther gets one as well. Joystick adds, and it's all Fabian. Stairs for Empire and on the east side of the building. And Joystick's just been droned out, but G2 haven't done anything to counter these roamers. And now they're just saying, okay, we need to attack from Aqua. We need to pressure for VIP, and we need to pinch the site. They're gonna have a difficult time of it though, as Empire are well set up to counter this push. Joystick's still not aware of where oh, anybody is! What? But two kills, three for Shepard, and the Empire strikes back! They will take the Raleigh Major and disbelief how quickly it comes back where it all began for Empire. One of the most memorable maps that we've ever seen. It was G2 prevailing over Empire earlier this year on a coastline that didn't ever want to end. This time, Empire makes it quick. Ten rounds, all they need. Four maps, all they need. moves after this event i mean uh, everyone on godly's uh, goals definitely had play attempts they tried to make uh coconut bra even though i highlighted him definitely had a lot of failed runouts attempts he was trying to make to kind of maybe show some flair that ultimately backfired but you know what at the end of the day i think they had fun and that's really how you win at this game you are completely wrong thank you very much for that information terrorist hunt away thank you so much rank called the champions rank this is above diamond tier, above 5,000 MMR. Anybody who reaches above this will be assigned a number and they'll be compared to other players who have the same rank. 
then we're talking about rank distribution. We've changed it up a bit. You'll see the bell curve now lies a little bit closer to the silver, and we've added more ranks at the lower tiers. This way, you'll be progressing a little bit more steadily, and it means that gold is a little bit more important now when you do achieve that rank. We have a change to the map pools that I know people will be excited about. So for ranked, we're actually reducing the size of the map pools. We're taking out Hereford, Theme Park, and Fortress, and we're adding the new canal rework. And you also see casual will be reduced a little bit more, uh, just so that it's easier to learn the maps that you're playing and you're well aware of what you need to do. Yes, our opponents have to throw at them as we've got all these golds out. Oh no. Roy's on Ash. That's not good. We got Ash. Oh! Sal? What are you doing inside a bakery, my friend? Oh! A little bit of one on one action here. It's, it's, a, a, it's a manly brawl between a hammer and possibly a fist. Oh, swing and a miss. Microwave, swing again. Oh, he gets him! That's a home run right there. <laughs> 